Section 1. A Cruel Commerce, Introducing the Transatlantic Slave Trade The transatlantic slave trade was a dark chapter in human history. For over 400 years, it involved the forced movement of millions of Africans across the Atlantic. These people were taken from their homes and families. They were subjected to horrific conditions. They were forced into slavery in the Americas. This trade was a massive enterprise. It connected three continents, Africa, Europe, and the Americas. It was driven by greed and a demand for labor. European powers primarily established colonies in the Americas. These colonies needed workers for their plantations. These plantations grew crops like sugar, tobacco, and cotton. The enslaved Africans became victims of this demand. They were treated as commodities, bought and sold like goods. This trade had a devastating impact. It affected the demographics and cultures of the continents involved. The transatlantic slave trade was not just about trade, it was a system of oppression. This system dehumanized an entire group of people based on their race. It is a history that we must remember and learn from. It reminds us of the consequences of greed and discrimination. Section 2. Seeds of Exploitation, Origins of the Transatlantic Slave Trade The transatlantic slave trade did not emerge overnight, its roots lay in the 15th century. European exploration and expansion played a significant role. Portugal, driven by Prince Henry the Navigator, took the lead. Initially, the Portuguese sought gold and trade routes to the east. They established trading posts along the West African coast. They traded goods for gold, ivory, and, unfortunately, people. The demand for labor on European plantations, particularly sugar plantations, grew. This demand increased the demand for enslaved Africans. Key figures like John Hawkins, an English sea captain, became involved. Hawkins made several voyages to Africa. He captured or bought Africans and sold them into slavery in the Americas. This marked a turning point. It shifted the focus from trading to hunting and capturing humans. Section 3 the machinery of oppression, operations of the trade. The transatlantic slave trade operated as a brutal three-legged system. This system is often called the triangular trade. The first leg involved European ships sailing to Africa. These ships carried manufactured goods, textiles, guns, and alcohol. These goods were traded for enslaved Africans. African rulers and traders participated in this trade. They exchanged captives of war or kidnapped individuals for European goods. This trade fueled conflicts and instability in Africa. The second leg, known as the Middle Passage, was the most horrific. Captured Africans endured a brutal journey across the Atlantic. They were crammed into overcrowded ships. The conditions were inhumane. Disease, malnutrition, and death were rampant. Upon arrival in the Americas, the enslaved Africans were sold to plantation owners. They were forced to work on plantations. They cultivated cash crops like sugar, tobacco, cotton, and later, coffee. The profits from these crops enriched European empires. Section 4. Scars on the Continent. The Impact on Africa. The transatlantic slave trade left deep scars on Africa. It is estimated that over 12 million Africans were forcibly removed from their homes. The demographic impact was devastating. It led to a significant loss of population, particularly among young and able-bodied individuals. This loss of manpower crippled many African societies. It disrupted their social structures and economic development. The trade also fueled internal conflicts and wars. African tribes raided each other for captives. This further destabilized the continent. The trade also had a profound psychological impact. It instilled fear, mistrust, and division among African communities. This legacy of trauma continues to affect African societies today. It is a stark reminder of the horrors inflicted by the slave trade, 